My name is Denis Kadric, I'm a finance major and I'm a senior. My name is Denis, I'm going to show you today my game against Gareev at the recent Washington tournament where I, fin where I finished second. Uh, but before I show the game, first I want to show you one tactic problem. So I put you on my level because it's kind of high here from the recent intramural tournament against some <laughs> Narak Enloy. Let me just show you. Black plays and wins, of course, because I'm black. Can you find the, the move of the chess god? Good job. That's mate. Not a can lie. Okay, now let's move on to the game. Okay, so. Because I'm attacker, I play d4. I don't care what you play. He played c6. D4, and now he realized that he's in trouble because I have center, he doesn't have anything. So he played h6. Probably really? only move. He played h6? Yes, probably only move because he plays against me, what else? But I found the best move, bishop d3, because there's no idea d5, bishop f5 anymore. So h6 is probably not that good. So he realized that and he played d6. Slowly. Uh, I still just pushed f4. Reminds me of someone. Taking <laughs> center? <laughs> yeah, maybe he watched my games, but he forgot that knight goes to h6, not pawn. So f4. Knight d7. Um, wait. I think this wasn't the move because... Oh, okay, yes. Knight d7 was not the move because now I would play knight f3. He played g5 now immediately. Yes, but... Okay, but on g5, I played my move, but knight d7, I, I will play knight f3 now, but let's say that I play knight e2, g5, that's the position. So like g5, knight e2, knight d7. And... So what if takes? I can't take the pawn, but because I'm a classical player, I don't like taking pawns for free. I just like to have a good center, so c3. He played now mm, a move that... I thought it's possible, but I didn't look at it because I thought it's stupid. Queen b6. I guess his idea on castle is just to take on f4. And after I take knight f4, maybe e5, but probably that's also lost for him after knight h5. I don't know, it looks very weird how he played. Kind of made fun of the goat. So I played knight d2, the best move. Basically like getting knight c4 for free, tempo. And then just putting my pieces, maybe knight e3, knight f5. He, he went back and I castled. So after eight moves, I'm probably like already plus two with my computer, which I realized con conveniently in 60 moves. So he took on f4. I, I took, of course, with the knight. Now the f line is open. Uh, he cannot really castle anywhere. I mean, he can try to castle to queenside, but he's, he's very slow. He played knight f6, queen f3, and now on e5, I, I guess knight h5 is just winning. He doesn't really have a move here. Oh, he played some rook g8 move, trying to attack me. And now, because I didn't like my position that much. I played, oh no, knight c4, it's still good. Knight c4, I want to play knight e3, knight f5. He, bishop, he played bishop g7, knight e3. I didn't really see this move, like, I, I didn't know what he's even playing, bishop g7, knight e3, but knight f8. No, it's not really even that clear. He has some ideas. Knight f8, and I, I saw if, if I play something like bishop d2, let's say, uh, knight g6, let's say knight h5. I don't know, always this file is open. I can't really play knight f5, bishop f6. I don't know. If I don't make something fast, I'll just play bishop d7, long castle, and it's not that much bad. So, I played a very fast move. Knight h5, he 
he has to play bishop h8. And now, prophylactic, king h1. My idea is, what you will see in the game, is that, like what he played was knight g6. Now I play knight f5. He has to take on f5. And my idea is that basically now I can take in with the pawn and with the queen. Queen f5, because knight h4, what he has to play is not even a threat anymore because I can just go back and he can never take on, on g2. I went back. I was looking at, at two moves, uh, queen f2 and queen h3. Like queen, I wanted first to play queen h3 because I don't want to let him castle long. But then he takes knight h5, queen h4, knight f6. And I didn't know what this position. I mean, I'm better for sure, but... Like, the computer gives to take on h6. Uh, I didn't really like it. Because to get from that position to a position where I just have a pawn and he has some open files against my king, I didn't like it. So, I played queen f2. He has now only move, uh, knight g6, because he cannot take on h5, because queen f7. He, he, if he, he cannot take on g2, because I, I just take on f6 and rook g1. So he went back, and now if you can find the move, the best move for sure in the position that I played. It's not a sacrifice, I'm just saying that. Bishop c4. Oh, coach is on fire. Bishop c4, that's the best move because he cannot move at all, he cannot go long. And he has to play something, but it's really hard to say what. He played queen a5. And now... Now, I'm not sure, I think Peter gives something here. Something for me, but I saw this just endgame with a pawn up, so I just went for it immediately. Knight f6. Bishop f6, queen f5. Now, if he plays somewhere with the queen, then I can just take uh, on h6 because he cannot castle at all. He has to change queens probably. So he took e5, knight f8, bishop h6. And now comes my famous technique with a pawn up. So he, he played knight h7. He wants to play bishop g5, change the bishops. I went back, bishop f4. Still cannot move his king because the pawn on f7 is hanging. Bishop g5. I'm not, I don't want to change my, my bishop. Bishop g3. And now he played a good move that I didn't really see, but I think it, it's the best chance for black. Be, uh, it's because I only thought the d5, bishop d3, but then that's very bad because my bishop is very strong then. But rook g7, that's a very good move. I mean, it's, it's the only move to try to defend the position. Rook g7, then like to play king d7 and rook h8, knight f6, trying to. I mean, I'm still just a pawn up, but that's the best chance. Rook e1, threatening bishop d6, king d7. And now I try to find a plan, which in the end I think I found the best one. Is it just to play like slowly on the, on the king side? First rook e2, I want to play, my idea is to play h3. But I just wanted like to put my rooks on, on light on white squares so he doesn't have some bishop d2 or something. Hey, rook e2, uh, knight f6, he wants to play knight h5, so h3, so that on knight, knight h5 I have bishop h2. Uh, rook h8, bishop h2. My idea just to put my pieces, to hide them and then to play slowly like to, to try somehow to push g4 and just to convert my pawn. Rook h4. I probably he wants to jump knight e4, rook e4, or even push c5 because my bishop is on c4. Just like trying to get something, some, some ideas. But I play rook f3 because 
like knight e4 he doesn't threaten anything, I can just play bishop, bishop d3, because my bishop and my rooks are holding all the squares. Rook h7. Now he threatens uh, maybe knight, knight g4, but probably that's not even a threat because I can just play bishop g3. So I played bishop b3. And now he, I don't know, because this kind of helped me a lot, the move that he played, because still I have to somehow push the pawns, trying slowly. I didn't, I wasn't really sure like what was, like how to do it. Maybe some king g1, like removing my king first from the h line. But he played this move, which I think was not that good. Rook e4, changing one rook, which helped me a lot because then it's much easier for me to push the pawns. I took rook e4, knight e4, bishop c2, and now again one move that I didn't even think, think about it because I thought that he will not play it for sure, was knight d2. I expected something like knight f6. Okay, but now it's a different story because now I can just play g4 and king g2 and I'll I'll push the h pawn for sure. So he played knight d2, rook f2, and threatening f6. So he has to play f6 basically. And now the move that I played was bishop d3. He's basically trying to to capture this knight because can't go anywhere. Now the only move probably for what he played for, for black is bishop e3, rook e2, that's what I, I thought he would play, knight f1. But he didn't play knight f1, he played something else, but knight f1, and now I would play rook e1, knight h2, rook e3, knight g4, and rook e2. Uh, I think this is just an easy winning position because my, my plan is very simple because he has to play sometimes knight h6 then I'll just I'll push like g4 g4 king g3 h4 uh, and then just king f4 g5 that should be easily winning he doesn't have a plan at all but he played back bishop g5 <coughs> and now first my idea was to play bishop g3 bishop e1 but then knight f1, he just goes out via e3. So I played this move, king g1. So now the, the only way to get his knight out is to play or d5 or b5 and knight c4. But I saw that that, that position should be winning. Why did you say he goes through uh, via e3? If you play I don't know, g3? wait, bishop g3, he plays something. I don't know, rook h. Eight, let's say. She started with the king g1 or something? Okay, that's again my idea. Why, why are you making fun of me? Why not knight f1 instead of rook g1? Oh, yeah, maybe knight f1. Yeah, knight f1. And then bishop f4? Bishop f2, bishop f4. That's what I saw. Oh, okay. Draw. <laughs> yeah, draw. I didn't really want to draw. So he played bishop g5 back, and now I play king g1. Now he realized that he has to play a move like b5 or d5. He, he chose b5, which is better, just like trying to make some counterplay, because knight c4, if I take b, then bc, a5, a4, maybe on the b line. But still, I, I play bishop g3, knight c4, and I took, because I, I saw that this endgame should be winning for me because of this plan, uh, bc and bishop f2. Changing my bishops and then and then he doesn't have like any plan on the queen side anymore if I change bishops because I can just put rook e2 and, and then just like push king h2, g4, king g3, h4, h5, should be easily winning. He pushed a5 uh, trying to make something, bishop e3. This is the mode that I didn't really see uh, was Rook h4. So basically, like he's. I thought he has to take on g5 for some reason, or like I didn't even thought about it. Like for him to take with the pawn on g5, which is very stupid because that's his only, only way to survive here. But king f2. A4. 
a3 I played just like to be sure king a again like the best move because if you if you play something else I have the simple idea that I did in the game if you play I don't know let's not like king d whatever I have king f3 king d7 and now uh, this idea that I played in the game and now he's just winning but he puts his king on on a good square trying to protect the position but still should be winning king f3 king f7 I have to basically take take g3 rook h3 king g4 rook h1 king g5 rook g1 this and this and now I found probably the only winning plan here or the easiest winning plan uh, first I played rook h2 to put his king on g7 <coughs> and now if you could, if you can find the winning plan Okay, rook h6. And? Rook e6. King f7. I mean, it looks like it's easily winning for, for white, but it's not. I don't think it is, because I cannot really go like through the h-file that easy. And I don't know, like, but I found the best plan. That's rook d2, threatening to push basically d5, and then just going rook b5, rook b4. He played, he didn't realize that because he played rook, rook f3 very fast. Maybe the only, I, the only move is rook, f, rook b1, not allowing me to push d5. But now I can go out, but I don't know what's his position. I have to go out probably king f4, and now I don't know. Maybe it's not even now like winning at all. My idea is basically just like now to play. If he doesn't play rook f1 back, is to play rook f2 g5, and then pushing the pawns slowly. But he played rook f3 very fast, and now it's just lost. D5. You cannot even play this move because I just take on c6. So he took, I took, he played uh, rook f2, rook b5, rook d2, rook b4, d5, rook b5, that's again the best move, rook b5, king f7, and now I found king f4, because now I'm threatening g5 or king e5, he has to push d4, and now I just easily winning position, cd, rook d4, king g5, because I'm eating one pawn more. He played this. Rook before trying his last idea to survive. I take, I'm lost. And c3 next. So he played rook b3. I took, takes, takes, and now it's very easy winning endgame. I just play rook a8, push my pawn till a7, and then push just g5, f6. Because with the f pawn, it, it, that's winning. So he played something rook f2, rook a8, rook f3, a4, rook f2, a5, rook a2, a6, and he resigned here. Thank you very much.